recording for Kids First. And today, I'm here at the Disney Studios, Burbank, California, to talk to the cast and crew of the new Disney Plus series, Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Let's go. What, um, Mr. Steinberg, what made you want to bring this, uh, bring Percy Jackson to life? Um, I think when you find a story that so many people are so excited about and then are given an opportunity to help them make it real and to um, make something that, that they can be that excited about, it's really hard to say no to. Cool. Were you able to stay true to the books while filming? Um, yes. I think um, there's definitely things that were in the books that aren't in the show. But I think that there is nothing in the show that doesn't feel like it would have belonged in the books. I think the tone of it and the kind of story we're telling um, are all things that I think Rick felt like. Um, if I had thought of that 20 years ago, I might just have put it in the book. That's awesome. Mr. Schatz, what are some key things you looked for when you were casting your characters? Well, it's a great question. Um, we, you know, these these roles are pretty iconic. Um, and everyone's imagined them in, in so many different ways. But we we got so lucky early on as we started to, to do the worldwide search um, for the show. And we were looking for honesty. We were looking for... Uh, people that you know we could we could believe in and specifically with Percy you needed that humor you needed that mischievousness you needed that uh, that wry sense uh, wry sense of humor you needed um, you needed that 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 soul that deep emotional thing that he could bring out without giving away any secrets um, what are what's some of the technology you used to like create the mythical monsters so we used we used a bunch of different technology. Um, you may have heard of something called the volume, which um, you may have seen like on Mandalorian, um, which is this vir giant virtual stage that we could shoot all of our environments in. Um, we did a huge percentage of shooting like that. And then for all the creatures and the monsters, we used both practical uh, practical things and also we use a lot of digital effects that we worked with Industrial Light and Magic who do all all of the big movies and shows out there as you know Star Wars um, and it was to partner with them was incredible because they were completely invested in this and wanted to make sure that all the creatures and design looked perfect. Um, Mr. Steinberg was there like your do you have do you have a favorite scene or moment in the show? That's a good question. Um, I think there are a couple of scenes between Grover and Ares that are not in the book that make me laugh every time I watch them. <laughs> and I'm very excited for people to uh, to see some of the stuff that um that that's going to be new for them. Um, Mr. Schatz, what do you think visitors uh, and what do you think like people watching this film will take away? I think you know the hope is that. You know, this has been such a beloved series for so long, um, a book series, and now as a TV series. I hope that we've honored those books and honored the themes that are that are in this. Um, I think why why kids especially have responded to this book for so long is because there are different ways for them to connect to these characters, whether it's feeling like an outsider, trying to fit, feeling, or even a parent who has a kid with learning differences. There's so many different ways to connect to this material, and I think that's why it's resonated across the globe for 20 years. Um, and I hope that they feel that throughout the series. Did you guys have, do you, did both of you all have like um, a favorite character in the, in the series? Probably Grover. <laughs> um, the 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 version of Grover that Ariane um, has helped to build is um, is is just one of those characters on screen that you, it's very easy to fall in love with. Yeah. I have I have so many. I can't I can't even choose. But yeah, Grover is amazing. Walker, who plays Percy, is amazing. Leah, who plays Annabeth, and then all the gods. I mean, we just you know, and creatures. Um, we just got got to work with so many amazing, talented people. Thanks for talking to me with to me. With, Thanks to for me doing this. You're awesome, Those are good man. Good questions. Those are amazing questions. Thanks. That's a wrap. Be sure to check out Percy Jackson and the Olympians on Disney Plus. It releases on December twentieth, twenty twenty three. Make sure not to miss any other other of my reviews and those of my colleagues. Bye.